While strolling in the woods, this wolf found a puppy hidden in the bushes. The wild animal took pity on the poor dog and brought him into his pack. The wolf didn't expect what would happen next. Deep in the woods, there was a cave where a female wolf was resting. She was unwell, both physically and emotionally. After years of trying to conceive with her mate, all her children had passed away. The first had died shortly after childbirth, while the others had gotten ill at a few weeks old. She mourned their deaths, but also mourned the experience of being a mother. As much as she wanted to have another child, she was scared of trying again, in fear that something bad might happen. Her heartbreak was felt across the whole pack, and other females tried to reach out and support her. Other than her, no one suffered more than her mate. He was the alpha of the pack, and she was supposed to lead the other wolves by his side. They were considered role models among the weaker and younger members. Although he was considered a father figure to his pack, he wanted his own children to care for. There was little else that he wanted as much as having children to call his own. After a while, the depressed female wolf lost all her motivation. Not only did she lack the energy to move around, but her appetite also completely disappeared. For days, all she could do was lie down on the floor of the cave. Her mate grew very worried. After the pack's regular hunting trips, he would return to her with fresh meat. Even though any other wolf would have consumed the meat instantly, this female wasn't interested in eating. The alpha couldn't ignore the sight of his mate's body growing thinner, weaker. In the animal kingdom, there are many creatures that mate for life. Wolves are among them, and matehood is revered within packs. The human equivalent of matehood would be marriage. The basis of the bond is that a couple chooses to stay by each other's sides for better or worse. One day, the alpha wolf decided to take a long stroll in the woods. He was alone, since everyone else in the pack was still asleep. Dawn was just beginning to break, but the wolf had been unable to catch some sleep. He took his time walking around the trees. He was aware of every scent, every noise. The forest was quiet at this time of day, but then he heard a sound. It was quiet, muffled by the rustling leaves. Nevertheless, the alpha senses were sharp, and he could trace things better than any other wolf within the area. He followed the sound and eventually found a scent trail. He could identify that the animal was canine, but it was unlike the wolf scent which he had grown accustomed to. Not long after, the wolf found the end of the trail. As he used one of his paws to push the bush aside, he caught sight of a small animal. It was a dog. The curled-up puppy was crying. The large wolf lifted his snout and tried to catch the scent of other creatures within the area. There was nothing. This meant that the dog had been abandoned. It was as if the pup's cries grew louder. The wolf assumed that it was feeling hungry and lonely. Wolves are known to be fierce hunters, and they are rightfully feared by other animals in the woods. But it doesn't mean that they cannot also be sensitive and emotionally intelligent creatures. This alpha was just as caring as he was strong. Even though he knew that the dog wasn't the same as him, he couldn't imagine leaving the puppy to fend for itself. He followed his instincts. As gently as possible, the wolf lifted the puppy using his mouth. Then he sprinted off towards his pack. The first thing that the alpha did was return to his mate. She was still sick, and he was hoping that the presence of a young animal would be able to stir her maternal instinct. The wolf had already decided to treat the dog like a son, but he also wanted his mate's approval. As the alpha walked into the cave, carrying the baby dog, he stared longingly at his mate. She was still lying on the ground, but this time her back was turned to the entrance. After placing the dog beside her, the alpha whined. Finally, the female wolf rolled over to look at her mate. When she spotted the baby animal, it was as if a light sparked in her eyes. The pup was hungry. Although she wished that she hadn't lost her most recent child, it was fortunate that the female wolf was still lactating. With his tiny paws, the dog crawled closer to the wolf. The young pup began to feed. For the first time in a while, the female wolf looked happy. No one would have believed that when a wolf brought a dog puppy into the pack, the decision would impact several wolves for years to come. This is what they did to the little pup. 
over the following year, the dog puppy was raised by the pack's alpha male and female. With practice, the dog was able to perfect his hunting skills. Regularly, he would join his wolf father, leading the pack by his side. The physical differences between the dog and the wolves became more prominent as the pup got older. Even though the dog stood out against the other pack members, he was never treated as anything other than family. However, this all changed when humans found the dog. During a hunting trip, the dog strayed a little too far from his pack. When the dog came across a cabin, he was spotted by the inhabitants. In an instant, a teenage boy sprinted out and wrapped its arms around the dog. Don't worry, the boy assured the dog. I'll look after you, I promise. From that day forward, the dog became part of a different family. As much as the dog missed the pack, there was something in his nature that felt called to stay with the humans. After all, don't we say that a dog is a man's best friend? On the day that the teenage boy found the dog, the animal was given the name Akito. After spending more time together, Akito grew close to not only the boy, but also his family. The boy's father was surprised to see how good Akito was at hunting hares. He knew that his son had found the dog in the woods, but there was still a lot of mystery surrounding the new animal. Nevertheless, the older man was impressed by the skills of his family's new pet. That's why he decided to take Akito out for one of his more dangerous hunting trips. He had seen Akito in action when it came to hares and birds, but he was curious to see if the dog would stand its ground against bigger animals. The man had recently started to teach his teenage son how to shoot, so the boy came along onto this trip. The trio had gone into the woods before, but this time, everyone seemed more tense. The father was more focused than ever before. The boy was painfully aware of his surroundings, twitching even at the sound of crunching leaves. The dog had always been on the quiet side, but this time he was completely silent as he followed the two humans. His canine instincts made him alert to the situation. Suddenly, a howl came from behind the trio. Another followed soon after to their left. More howls erupted from around the group, even though there were no animals in sight. Then, from only a few feet away, a large grey wolf emerged from the trees. The boy screamed as the wolf pounced towards them. The man swiftly brought his gun up, aiming it at the creature's face. Just as the man was ready to shoot, Akito stood directly in front of the gun and began to bark. First, he barked at the man. Then, he barked at the wolf. After a few moments, the wolf realized who was standing before him. It was his son, the dog puppy he had saved long ago. The wolf ran towards Akito, tackling him gently. Another wolf came out from the trees, followed by three young cubs. After Akito had left, the alpha's mate had given birth to healthy children. The man lowered his gun and hugged his shaking son. They watched the scene with teary eyes. Akito nuzzled his wolf parents and siblings before turning back to his human family. Since then, the man gave up on hunting wolves and swore instead to protect them until his last day. What was your favorite part of the story? Please comment with your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you found most interesting. If you like stories like this, subscribe to the channel for more. I hope to see you in another video.